What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm here to tell you guys uh, Beam might be better than Set of Corsa. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now hold on, before you jump straight to the comments or the dislike button, uh, I play a lot of I play a lot of Forza and I play a lot of I set a Corsa and I do play a lot of Beam. And here recently we got into drifting and I've realized it's it feels really good to drift on beam. That was easy. <laughs> Me and my buddy, huge in the sim racing, and uh, we play a lot of Assetto Corsa. We were really good at drifting in Assetto Corsa. And I asked him, I was like, man, it feels, beam films really good. And he actually went and looked and to find out which one is, you know, more realistic. And the overwhelming uh majority said that beam mp or beam beam ng is more realistic than you know a set of course it would be so we wanted to put it to the to the test so here i will be using an rs v2 steering wheel that i'm spinning around in circles here a standalone r5 wheelbase along with a fanatec shifter with an h BP handbrake made by Moza and also the CPR Moza racing pedals try to do a cool transition and I'm not sure if it's working <laughs> uh, the story with this uh, simulator I started off in a G920 I had to make some modifications I used it for years I had to make some modifications to it so when we really got into a set of course of drifting and stuff like that I built a a wood simulator if I have a video on it on my YouTube channel, it's it's super easy to build. It was really relatively cheap. It was like forty bucks at the time, and that was like during the pandemic or so around it. Anyway, got that thing built. Put the Logitech G920 on it. Uh, got an adapter for a real steering wheel. Put a real steering wheel on it. Played around with that. I had a like a hundred dollar e brake from like eBay that I used all the time. I did not have this. Moza Racing e-brake just yet. Um, it was like a hundred bucks, and I was using the Logitech G920 shifter as well. The whole setup. Uh, it was really, it worked really well for what it was. Till I got real serious into it. Um, after that, I really wanted to dive deep into this. So what I did was, uh, went ahead and bought the Fanatec shifter, which has worked really well with for now. Uh, you know, for the now. <laughs> And then I bought um, the Moza Racing setup, uh, courtesy of Do It With Dan. He bought a really nice setup, and it, I'm a huge fan of his. So uh, it kind of persuaded me into buying the Moza Racing Simulator. Then they came out with a shifter, and I really wanted a shifter. I think it was like 150 bucks or something like that. But I messaged him first. I was like, hey, I've got a YouTube channel. And I was sad. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, you just come out with a shifter. I have your whole setup that I bought. Uh, I bought the CPR pedals, the most expensive steering wheel. Um, you know, the R... I think it was the R5. Yeah, it was the R5 or R9. I bought the R5. It was between those two. I bought the R5. Um, I got the e-brake. I was like, all I need is a shifter to have the whole setup. Would you guys send me the shifter? And I'll review it. And I said, no. And then unfortunately, they only do stuff like this for YouTube channels over like a million subscribers apparently so I'll remember that in the future <laughs> um, it was kind of disappointing but it's whatever uh, I still love the setup it's really nice um, it's really nice for what I have uh, I went from a G920 to this feels really good and I love it I actually love it uh, even though they didn't want to send me a shifter Who are you? I said this later on the video, but I just noticed that I had put it around the end of the video. I wanted to put this here just to like reiterate what I said so you don't get mad at me. <laughs> uh, I know because it's to reach an audience to help sell the product, so I do understand that kind of stuff. I don't want to like be like, oh, a magazine, send me that, uh, but I did would have loved to have been able to review so maybe one day I'll get to that point where I can review stuff and that'd be be really cool 
I'll buy it one day. It's no big deal. But I just thought I'd throw that in there. I thought that was pretty funny. All right. Again, I'm no professional at drifting. Um, I am. Uh, I don't even think I'm mediocre at best. Um, so, with that being said, there are going to be some weird, you know, mistakes in this. I'm not drifting like your normal, you know, sim drifter or whatever. So, just uh, avoid all that. <laughs> I do like this game a lot better uh, than I do a set of Corsa, but of, of course, a set of Corsa has all the courses that you know your real life drifting consists of. So, with uh, that being said, I think a set of Corsa is better for competition, but I do think this has more realism in with within the drifting sim racing community, just because. Like earlier when me and Josh were drifting, he his control arm broke when he like bumped up against me and it like dented my door. And I said, of course you don't really get that. And so that's my take on it anyway. So here is some drifting. Again, I'm not a professional. So just enjoy. <laughs> I always flick it too hard in that corner, my bad. There's a little bit of drifting. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not perfect at it. Um, oh, my car's overheating. <laughs> uh, like I said, I do like the realism that this this game does have. I think it has huge potential. Uh, I don't know of any like drifting competition maps. Um, it's because we just started recently drifting on, um, you know, Beam. So. If you want to, throw them in the comments below and let me know if there is. I'm sure we'll check them out. I do have a video of us drifting at the Freedom Factory, just drifting some, just drifting some 240s. Not this mod, necessarily. This is Big Mike's small drift island. Uh, this is his server. Uh, I just jump in here to drift every now and then. I don't actually know this, the, you know, the server or the owner or whatever. So, But anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button comment what you think comment on the drifting aspect of this said video and let me know again about the maps or said servers in the comments below